This is a story about Baby Mario and Yoshi. A story that took place a long, long time ago, because Mario is so old. A stork hurries across the dusky pre-dawn sky. It's like the opening to Dumbo. In his bill, he carries a pair of brothers. Suddenly, a shadow appears in a gap between the clouds and races toward the stork with blinding speed. Screech! The babies are mine! Whoa! <laughs> Snatching only one baby, the creature vanishes. into the darkness from whence it came. The second baby falls undetected toward... the ocean from the looks of it. The open sea, yep. Oh no! Meanwhile, down on Yoshi's Island, home to all Yoshis, including Boshi. It's a lovely day, and Yoshi is taking a walk. So of all of the Yoshis, is this guy actually named Yoshi? Huh? Suddenly, out of nowhere, a baby falls onto his back. That's when they knew it was destiny. Fortunately, the baby seems to be just fine. That would not happen in real life, but let's not argue. <laughs> what? Something else fell along with the baby. It's a coupon for a dollar off at McDonald's. Let's take a peek. It looks like a map. Maybe the stork was using it? Yoshi can't figure out this strange situation. Well, it, it is definitely an odd situation to find yourself in. He decides to talk to his friends about it. That's always good. Gak! <laughs> Kemek, the evil Magikoopa who kidnapped the baby... I love the animations in this. <laughs> Quickly dispatches his gain of nasty toadies, not to be confused with toads. Very different. When he discovers that he missed the other baby! This is not good! <laughs> we got the wrong one! <laughs> Yoshi casually heads back to the other Yoshis. Ah, oh boy! Completely unaware of the danger close at hand. He's not kidding, this game is really difficult. Especially if you're going for 100%. Kamek's forces are actively searching the island. Submit! <laughs> Will the two brothers ever safely reach their parents? Well, this is the backstory, so yes. Alright, it's Yoshi's Island. Hey, Flopsy! Welcome to the stream. One of your favorite games of all time. Nice! I know that you played this on your channel fairly recently. It is the G it is the Game Boy Advance port, not the Super NES port uh, version, just because this is what I have available. And this is also the version that my siblings and I kind of grew up with. So we have Yoshi's Island and Mario Bros. We're going to be playing Yoshi's Island. Hey, Prince Dusk! Welcome, welcome. Am I going for 100% of the GBA game? Um... Realistically, I probably will not be getting 100% because this game is ludicrously difficult if you're trying to 100% it. I'm going to I'm going to try to, but I I will very probably give up on it. This is probably around world 5 or something. <laughs> you feel the graphics are a bit lacking when compared to the Super NES version? I agree with that. It definitely has a bit more saturated graphics. I kind of like the sound effects a little more in the Game Boy Advance version. I also like the controls a bit better, but that's just me. <laughs> this It does have Mario Bros, yeah. You get the two games in one. But we're playing Yoshi's Island. Made in 95, the port was in... Oh, the port was only a couple, like, seven years after this? Really? Interesting. Okay, so, for people's backstory on this, 
four years ago when I played Diddy Kong Racing, I'm like, don't worry, I'll probably play Yoshi's Island right after this. And then um, four years later, I'm only now just playing it. Um, <laughs> I actually really like this game. I've never beaten it. I made it to the final level. I actually made it to the final boss and could not figure out how to beat the final boss. So technically it's not blind, but there will be a little... Actually, no, I, I know this game. I haven't played all of the bonus levels, but I've played the rest of the levels, but it has been a while. Anyhow, let's start. <laughs> let's just start. I don't have a Super NES Mini. I do not. Oh, I I guess I could have played this via my Switch with the Super NES Classics collection, but whoops. This is what we're doing. This is the version I'm used to playing and don't have to learn the new controls for it. <laughs> Welcome to Yoshi's Island, a paradise where all the Yoshis live. They are all in an uproar over the baby that fell off from the sky. I like how we've got all the different colors of Yoshi. Wait! It seems as though the baby knows where he wants to go! The bond between the brothers tells each of them where the other one is. That is not how it works, but okay. <laughs> the Yoshis decide to carry him on to his destination. <laughs> the Yoshis decide to carry him to his destination via a relay system. And so begins a new adventure for the Yoshis and Baby Mario. That's good. They give each other breaks. <laughs> oh boy! I do love the graphic style of this game. It's really pretty. It looks almost hand-drawn. <laughs> I have to beat Baby Bowser, you're not letting me walk away. Welcome to Yoshi's Island. That's fine. If Baby Mario falls off of Yoshi's back, the countdown timer will begin. When it reaches zero, Kamek's toadies will swoop in and kidnap Baby Mario. They just know. The more stars you collect, the safer you'll be. Once Baby Mario is safe, the timer will count back up to ten. Complete a stage by passing Baby Mario to the next helpful Yoshi. Sweet. Hi, Shy Guys. Lunch. So, yes, we will be hearing Yoshi's like sound effects everywhere. That's the GBA port. Oh, I want to talk to you. Oh, that was interesting. Flutter Jump. By holding A down, you can hover in the air for a short time. Make the extra effort. Yep. Oh, you only got to World 4 in your Let's Play? You struggled to get the videos to sync up. You always ended it with audio desync issues. Yeah, for for uh, well, me streaming this, I'm streaming this via a capture card for my GameCube. I have to delay my voice by over a second in order for it to match up the game audio. Also, please make sure, please tell me if the uh, if there are audio discrepancies, like if my voice is like significantly louder than the game or vice versa. It should all be lined up properly, but you never know. Yum. All right, six worlds and eight levels in each world. Let's begin with level one one. Level one, make eggs, throw eggs. Also, probably unpopular opinion, but I like the GBA soundtrack more. Even though it's probably technically worse making eggs. <laughs> Grab an enemy with B, then press down on the D-pad to make an egg. Now try throwing the egg with by pressing R. I can do that. The egg cursor system is interesting. Oh, hey. Crazy daisies. So definitely for the early worlds, I'm going to go after 100%. Special flower. Gather five for a one-up. They add to your point total. I think they're worth 10 points each. Hi, Piranha Plant. It took me an embarrassingly long time to realize that you can just hold the control stick to aim the egg. You don't have to, like, let it... You don't have to wait for the cursor to move on its own. Throwing eggs. Press R once, and the aiming cursor will begin to move. Press R again to throw the egg. When you find a question mark, hit it with an egg. Cool stuff will happen. To cancel the throw, press down on the D-pad. I pressed L. Yeah, you can literally just throw it straight up if you hold up on the control stick. I didn't know about that. Well, <laughs> I don't care what anybody says. I prefer the GBA soundtrack. As I said, it's probably technically worse. But I personally enjoy it more. I, I guess I like certain songs. I like this song better on the GBA version. Hi, Piranha Plants. <laughs> a chomp rock is a useful thing. Push it to make your push it to make it roll, bowling over your enemies. If it gets stuck, stand on one edge to make it roll again. That's important to know. 
people think that Miyamoto made this game to say that all Donkey Kong Country has is graphics, which is not true. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Donkey Kong Country is amazing. For all you kiddies watching at home who don't know the game better than I do, <laughs> some coins are red coins, which add to your point total. I'm pretty sure right now everybody in Twitch chat knows the game better than I do, which is always fun. I know I could throw eggs to collect the coins, but nah. Whoops. There we go. No, I want all the stars. Give me... Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, man. The waterfalls in the background are beautiful. I love that. Just go up the pipe. Come on. I love how Yoshi's Island, despite having really cutesy graphics, is a deceptively really difficult game. Not as difficult as the DS version. Yoshi's Island DS is, like, monstrously difficult. That was another game I played and never beat. I think I made it to World 4. I think this just leads to, like, a vase where the Shy Guys spawn. Yeah. Nothing to see here! You almost never throw eggs into the things, you always spit uh, enemy projectiles into them. Oh, that's true, you can just... I always forget about that, you can just spit things out to activate most things that flowers can. Or flowers, eggs. Oh, that was the last... That was the last one, eh? Got a little close there. I for I didn't know if he had something hidden behind him. Oh, sweet. That was the last... Uh, that was the last red coin. In each level, 20 red coins are hidden among the yellow ones. They add one point to your total points. Well, I don't have... 30 stars. I sure hope that this question mark has stars. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> there we go. Yippee! 100% for me. The real question is, do we get the bonus game or not? Yeah! Bonus challenge! If that roulette lands on a flower, you go to a bonus game, which are pretty fun. We got a hundred points! Excellent. Your Shazam DS is terrible? You hated the multi-baby gimmick? I actually kind of like that. I liked how the babies were at least different and added some variety. New Yoshi's Island on the DS, you hated how much easier the game was. Honestly, I get why they would make some of the Yoshi games easier. Like, because of the cutesy graphics, a lot of people assume it's for young kids. And I mean, it's definitely family-friendly, it's just very difficult. I don't mind slightly easier games, as long as they're fun. Scratch and match! Get 1-Up! Scratch! Free boxes uncover Mario's to gain 1-Up! Scratch on! Five free toadies is zero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh boy, it's luck-based, as are all these games. Oh great, we got a toady. There we go. We got at least one baby. And toady. Oh well, we got one up. I'll take it. Ah, boy! Trust me, we're gonna need those lives for the later worlds. Looking at you, World 6. <laughs> Have I ever played Wooly World on the Wii U or Crafted World on Switch or plan to? No. As far as, like, Yoshi-specific games go, I have played this, not beaten it. I have beaten Yoshi's Story, and I've played a bit of Yoshi's Island DS, and I think that's it. Alright, level two! Watch out below! 
<laughs> Watch out! There are chain shops ahead. We are not joking. <laughs> and we have our first death. I forgot that those literally slam you into the ground. Yes, I'd like to try the stage again. It's a good thing we got the one up from the bonus game. And now we're Pink Yoshi. I got too greedy with the coins. Wait, what? He didn't land there last time! Oh, really? Oh, Rocky's really mad now. Oof. I blame Pink Yoshi for this. I would not be dying this much if it was Green Yoshi. I'm just kidding. All the Yoshis are exactly the same. No! <laughs> sometimes they land and sometimes they don't. This is not going well. <laughs> I'm on level two and I've died three times. Boom, boom, boom. And the only thing is I've beaten this level several times before. I think I'm just trying. I'm just think I'm just going too fast. Wait, what? Th but there had already been one who landed. Chomps try to land on you. It's not set positions. I thought it was set positions. Yeah, see, like that one always lands in that spot, and he didn't try to land where I was. I'm just going to assume that the chomp. Yeah, and that one didn't try to land on me. Nope. I saw where that one was going. Alright, let's just take it slow. Alright, brain hop time. There we go. Okay, thank goodness. Checkpoint. This is the middle ring for the level. You can continue here. Also gives you plus 10 star points. Ooh! Thank you. Wait, no, wait, shoot. I thought that this would go... Those are some red coins back there. Alright. Where's the nearest bottomless pit? Artie's not doing too well at Yoshi's Island, folks. <laughs> oh my gosh, I, that was the perfect pause. No, I want bottomless pits! Why does this have to be an easy level with no bottomless pits? Let me die! <laughs> or at least let me find an enemy. Like, literally a enemy. Oh, thank goodness. One up. I only missed a few red coins. Yeah, but I can't go back, and I want to at least 100% the first world. 100% in the first world was not difficult. Oh, well, except one level, which, as long as you know about the secret area, is still easy. I don't know why I thought going bouncing up would take me around. Seriously, there are no enemies anywhere. Nope, I am not grabbing that. <laughs> don't you want to know? No, I don't. Just give me... <laughs> Are there seriously no enemies around? That's what I'm trying to do, Fa. I'm trying to get hit. Oh, well, I can't... Getting hit in the airplane does nothing. I need to get hit... I need to get hit while it's Yoshi and Baby Mario. Oh, uh, I see a ghost up there! Come on! Throw me a bone here. The hardest... Wow! So all of the danger in level 2 is at the very beginning. And then it's like, oh, it's impossible to lose. Yeah, come on. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Now we just have to wait a long time. Sorry, baby Mario. <laughs> I'm getting rid of you. <laughs> you 
Yeah, one seven, Flopsy. That's that's the level that's really difficult to find all the stuff. But once you know where it is, it's very easy. <laughs> what you can't see can't hurt you. <laughs> and then the toadies grab him and take him away. I am dangerously low on lives already. This is not good. Okay. Let's try this again. There we go. Now we can go ahead. <laughs> rest of the level should be pretty straightforward. Yeah, this song sounds actually kind of different between the SNES and GBA versions. I, I really like this version. It's more upbeat. Excellent. 30 stars. I find the stars to be the toughest things to get. Generally. Press select to display your score. To use special items, use left or right of the D-pad to choose an item and press A, and then to exit, press B. Well, I don't have any items, so... Not useful for me yet! You can morph into a helicopter by touching the helicopter- I already did that. Yeah, you, you guys know about this. The donut lift music is by far the best- oh, the athletic theme. I like the, uh, jungle theme, like the da 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 I also like the, uh, fortress theme. The one that sounds like the Song of Storms. Alright. The helicopter doesn't have the best controls, but it also doesn't have the worst controls. Alright, now I don't know... I'm pretty sure I missed a whole bunch of stuff. Just, I'm pretty sure I missed a bunch of stuff in here. That is one of the issues with Yoshi's Island, is there's... There's just a lot of stuff to find. And especially since the red coins, you can't tell which ones are regular. It can be a bit frustrating. Oh! Ha-ha! Oh! Yeah, how much stuff do I have? Okay, I have, I'm missing one flower and I'm missing... Oh, wow, I'm missing eight red coins. Oh, yeah, the big boss music. That's also really good. This whole game has really good music, honestly. I know there aren't a whole lot of tracks from it, but the ones that it does have are... Mmm, chef's kiss quality. Mario, Mario games do very well in the music department. As a general rule of thumb. Alright, well, we gotta take... Okay, that's everything in this room. I'll double check, because this was a pit. No, I already got the stuff. Alright. <laughs> See, if I wasn't focused on 100%, I could probably beat this in two or three streams. But if I'm going for 100%, at least for the early worlds, then uh, it might take a little bit more time. That's okay. If I've streamed this on Saturdays, I can actually get a lot of gameplay into a single stream. When I stream on weekdays, I only get it like an hour and a half in. Just because of work. But here it is. Uh, good. Oh, ho, oh, hi, hi, hey there, hi there, ho there. <laughs> no, no, no. No! He knocked me in there! I have to check to see if there's something up at the top. Because there actually is a crevice at the top that I haven't been in. That, that was so annoying! The ghost hit me into the end of it, so now I have to backtrack all the way again just to become a helicopter. <laughs> oh, boy. The pr Oh, yeah. The naval piranha fight. Spoiler alert for World Free Boss. Yeah, that one was weird. How, like, you can shoot eggs through parts of them. Wait, you can kill them by landing on top of them? That's funny. Okay, 
That leads to a dead end. Yeah, up here. Uh-huh! That's... that's why. Uh-oh. I don't really like any of the transformations in this. I think there are three of them. There's helicopter, there's, like, the mole, and there's the train? There might be one more? I don't think so, though. None of them are fun to use. Like, all of them are literally just like, oh, great, now I have to be a helicopter now and not... Like, oh, sweet, the helicopter, this is fun to use. All right, there we go. Oh, uh, yeah, give me that. There's the last flower. Oh, cool. That was that was everything. Watch me get killed by a chomp at the end, though. Oh, nope. All right, light blue Yoshi. Bonus challenge. I missed the Inspector Gadget car. Is there a car? I forget about that. A hundred points! One up! Oh boy. Scratch a match. Another? I don't like this one. It's so boring. At least I got one. <laughs> Yoshi, stop celebrating. We died like five times on that level. <laughs> but we got one up! <laughs> Alright, level three. The first of the main cave levels. The Cave of Chomp Rock. <laughs> the Chain Chomps welcome you to the Cave of Chomp Rock. You get the same bonus stages in World 1 and World 2. I thought it was just totally random, because I know there are, like, six different bonus stages. Pound the ground. Press down on the D-pad while in the air to make him ground pound. That's really hard to do on... I, I didn't want to read you again. I just wanted to jump on the rock, because there's... No, there's nothing up there. For some reason, the ground pound is not being very responsive on my controller. Like, I keep... Yeah, I have to press down, like, five times for him to actually do it. That's kind of evil how they put red coins in the pegs. Hey, dude, what's up? There are two controller configurations for egg throwing. Would you like to switch? Oh, I hate that. No. Oh, that one you have to hold it down. Uh-uh. No way. That is not good. I guess it's a matter of personal preference. I always prefer just tapping it, though. Ooh, lantern ghosts. I feel like this level is far more straightforward than the last one. I feel like I have to jump high in the air and then really smash down on my stick in order to ground pound. <laughs> Yoshi, what have we told you about, <laughs> about adventuring with your mouth full? There we go. Alright, there's a key around here somewhere that leads to an amazing minigame that we definitely need to play. Oh, what? <laughs> Yoshi, that was really pathetic. Yoshi's like, oh no, a dandelion dies. Ah, there it is. Wow. My GameCube, playing a Game Boy Advance game, started lagging. 
That's embarrassing. Give me that key! Fine. I'll do it the intended way. Is this the watermelon spitting contest? I hope it is. That's the best one. And there's only, like, I think one of them in the game. Take the key over to the bonus hut! If you have a good eye, it's actually possible to see the red coins I'm on a group of coins. There's a very slight red tint in the red coin. I did not know that! Throwing balloons! Oh, to throw a balloon, press the button sequences. As shown, the game time is limited. If the balloon pops on you, you lose. If you win, you get a lot one up! I think this is kind of luck-based. But I'll try to win. I feel like sometimes he messes up on purpose just to make it, uh, pop on you. Which, I mean, that's actually a legit strategy. Oh, no. Okay, it's about to blow. Uh-oh. This is not good. Nope. Nope! Oh! I thought I pushed right. I guess it registered it as up. Oh, well. If it's just for a one-up, I don't want to bother with that. I'm not, I'm not gonna go for that multiple times just to get a one-up. That may not even happen. Alright, ser seriously, Yoshi, you really need to not get hurt just by a dandelion sprout hitting you. Oh! That's actually quite bad. I'm not sure if there are any more star points on the level. I can play again, yeah, but... I don't want to. <laughs> oh, the Super NES version only gives you one try at those bonus games. Well, I'll treat... I can treat it like that. Yeah, this is actually quite bad. I'm pretty sure there are no more star points on the level. I guess we could create our own. Like, you can make red eggs? Um... Well, I don't know how that worked, but okay! <laughs> what the heck was that? <laughs> what? What just happened? I was down on that mushroom, the egg clipped through the floor, and then Rick... What? <laughs> I'll take it, but wow, that, that was strange. Oh, uh-oh, oh no, okay, good, I actually could pound the peg. Oh yeah! I don't think there are any red coins in here, but I'm gonna try. I mean, it's free money. And as we all know, you don't look a gift horse in the mouth. I don't know what a gift horse is, but you don't do it. Oh well. I, I don't think there are any red coins down there. Actually, wait a second. Okay, we're missing a flower and we're missing free coins. No, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. <laughs> oh, actually, no, that was right way. <laughs> I love the sound Yoshi makes when he pushes it. <laughs> Alright, here we go, yeah. Now, get back here, you chomp rock. <sighs> I don't particularly like the chomp rocks. Especially on that one level in World 6 where to get 100%, you need to, like, stay on one as it's rolling. It's so frustrating. That's probably the level that I'm going to start giving up on 100% for. Alright, was that where was the last of the red coins? Yes. There's the little sound effect that plays when you get them all, but I, I can't really hear it all that well.
He doesn't make that noise, the noise when he pushes in the Super NES version. Just one more reason why I play the GBA version. No! 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 He popped out of nowhere! Oh, that's that's really bad. Okay, we can still there's still a way out of this though. There's still a way out of this. We can make red eggs. I think. Yes, yes. Oh, and we can and we can go back. If we make our own red eggs and then destroy enemies with the red eggs, then we they actually drop star points. There we go. I picked that trick up from speedrunners. Alright! Only I would come up with the red egg method. Hey! <laughs> red eggs make star points, and red eggs are easy to make, and I don't want to redo half that level. <laughs> so, yes! <laughs> oh, this actually means that if you get hit in a boss fight, you can potentially still get 100%. That's great. Oh, I love the red egg method. I'm going to use it more. Free up! Scratchy match again? Come on, give me the one where Kamek makes the weird face at you. Uh -huh. You would just replay the level? That's a valid strategy. I was debating doing that, but I was at the very end, and the checkpoint I got was way back. So I didn't really want to deal with that. Doggone it, no matter what I do, I only ever get one baby. Still better than zero, though. I appreciate that. <laughs> Drawing lots, basically. <laughs> Oh boy, first fortress. Bert the Bashful's Fort. And we're on Yellow Yoshi. Oh, yeah, I love this music. Hmm, thanks for the one up. As we saw from level two, I'm gonna need it. I love the pseudo-3D effects in this game. It is really great. Like, it's a 2D game, but it feels 3D at times. Alright, bashful bros. Oh, that works. I don't even have to take him out. Cracked ceiling. Give me some money. Make sure you don't get hit by the spike balls. Spike balls can hit you through the ceiling, so watch out for that. <laughs> no Drawing Lots is the game where you, you have to not pick Kamek. Oh, they, yeah, that's a fun one. And then there's the game where you can bank items and press exit. Yes! That's the one I like. Alright, I'm out of eggs, so... I thought you could ground pound. Ouch. That's okay, we get a couple checkpoints on this level. Oh, he's just hopping off towards the lava. Oh, that poor guy. I think here... No, baby, that's another room. Blarg is in this dungeon. Nope, nothing in there. I, I did miss a cracked ceiling. There are only regular coins up there, though, as far as I can remember. If And if there were red coins up there, then, well, sucks to be me. Oh, yep, this is the room with Blarg. Ouch. 
was unfortunate. Coins do mean extra lives, and I do need them. It's okay, though. That was a shame. I tried hovering, but I hit the, uh, the seesaw before I could start it, and so the game was like, Oh, okay, so you're gonna sink like a brick. It is my destiny. <laughs> You can also use an egg to get that flower a little less <laughs> riskily, but... Ah, uh, blarg! Oh man, that wasn't even a red coin. What a ripoff! Oh, hi, big blarg! Get out of here, please, and thank you. That was the last of the red coins, wow. <laughs> yeah, I love the flower pots. Hey! Give me that key. That could have been real bad. If I had hit that platform, I would have sunk into the lava. They're not Blargs, they're Nepiunts. Nepiunts are the water variants. Blargs are the lava variants. I'm pretty sure. They're called Blarg in um, Yoshi's Story. Which admittedly did, does take place after this. Thank you for the flower. Is that a flower? It's not. I missed a flower somewhere, didn't I? Yes, I did. And it's not behind the ominous red door. Ouch! Oh, how woo! What the heck? I totally popped the bubble! These enemies are annoying! Especially when my ground pound is being finicky. Oh well, that's fine. I gotta find the flower anyways. What? The flower was above the cracked ceiling you missed in the first room! Doggone it. <laughs> Hope not. Oh, it might just be in here. Oh, but there's a lot of money in here. I like this. Where is that final flower? Oh yeah, I always forget you can use your ton to get Baby Mario back. Oh, there it is. Okay. Well, now we're in a different problem. We gotta get our stars back. Actually, if the Bashful Bros keep respawning, we can just kill them over and over again. I like how you can kill the piranhas while they're still tiny and not even, like, fully on screen. There we go. Oh, lovely. Boss time! So, you're still on the baby's side, Yoshi baby! Then get a load of this! Get a load of this! Bert the Bashful. The first boss, you kill him by knocking his pants down. Oh no! That's actually quite bad. <gasps> That's what we gotta do. No, don't knock him into us! Uh-oh. 
duck on it. <laughs> and the problem is, if I if I just die, which is probably what I should do, but if I do that, then I have to get that flower again. No, I, I need to do that. I'm getting 100%. I need to just... Sorry, Baby Mario. I'm just gonna backtrack. <laughs> Rather than bother with all the red egg nonsense. I think I'm gonna accidentally kill him with a red egg anyways. So, that's not gonna work. I feel like I always lose to Bert the Bashful if I'm trying to get 100%. At least once. He's just so big. <laughs> I will have 30 from the middle ring, but I have to get that flower again. Yeah, see, 30, 20 coins, but I need to go back and grab the, uh... Those guys are so annoying to go through. That's fine. The flower's really close by. I love how, like, all the doors are polka-dotted. Really adds to how ominous it all is. <laughs> Alright. Attempt number two on Bert the Bashful. Yeah, I should just defeat them. <laughs> Rather than trying to jump over them. That's what I did the second time. Okay. I just need to use these hidey holes. What? I but I what? I hit him. Apparently his shoes will hurt you, but they don't actually get hit by your eggs. Yeah, like, look at that. I definitely hit him with an egg. There. Is he finally gone? There we go. He's so embarrassed. He literally dies of embarrassment. He's super easy if you don't care about not taking damage. Well, red eggs for the win. Ah, don't worry about it. I find the sound effects fairly charming, and I also am not super familiar with the Super NES sound effects. 400 points. Alright, we're halfway done with World 1. And we've only died like 10 times. <laughs> Alright. Flopsy's favorite music. We're on level 5. Hop, hop, donut lifts. <laughs> there are very dangerous donut lifts throughout this stage. They will fall shortly after you stand on them. Step lightly. And it's time for one of my biggest pet peeves in side-scrolling platformer games, auto-scrollers. Let me take the level at my own pace, not at the pace you want me to take it at. Mario Bros. Free was particularly bad with the auto-scrollers. <laughs> Almost missed that. That would have been bad. Auto scrollers are particularly annoying if you're trying to get 100%. That's always nice. If it drops stars and you are hovering over it right then, you can get them all in one go. Don't say anything about bad about Mario Bros. 3. That game is perfect. 
disagree. <laughs> but, it's definitely a good game, but um, there are a lot of uh, gimmicks that I am not a fan of in that. With diagonal auto scores in particular. <laughs> Because like, regular auto scrollers weren't annoying enough. Let's have it go diagonally, so you have to constantly go left and up at the same time. Or right and up. Sorry, I know directions. My favorite 2D Mario still is and always will be Mario World. Uh oh. That's okay. I'm pretty sure there are more star points. I don't think you need to get a perfect score. There we go. Just as I thought. Those shy guys holding the red coins are a lot easier to get rid of now that I realize... Oh, wait, you can literally just hit them with your tongue. Oh, yes. No! 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 <laughs> it dropped my jump input! That's okay. We still have the checkpoint. Actually, this level's not as difficult as I remember it being, even when going for 100%. Most of the diff- literally, this level, all of its difficulty comes from the fact that it's an auto-scroller. Like, if this was not an auto-scroller, it would be very easy. <laughs> Shy Guy, I love your flower hairdo, I really do, but... Okay, let's try this again. Thank you! There we go. Um, that was weird. It was not letting me jump for the rain. Go! And now it goes on tan Yoshi. Oh, sweet! Bonus level! Awesome! Mario Bros. 3 was perfect for the platform it was originally made for. The fact that it was an NES game is revolutionary. I agree with that wholeheartedly. No complaints there. Five up! S stop giving me scratch a match! I hate- I'm not, I don't like gambling. Oh look, it's a toady. What a shocker. Oh look, it's a toady! Oh boy, another toady. That's fine. Bye, bye purple Yoshi! Now we're on the most boring colored Yoshi for level 5! Shy Guys on Stilts! Back in the flower garden. Hey, boy! Boing! Alright. There's a door in the clouds. Not something you see very often in real life. Hey there, mister! Yellow eggs create coins! Red eggs create two stars! I know! Flashing eggs! Hit an enemy to receive these unique prizes. Definitely gotta hit the enemy with the flashing egg. Because when you do... Red coin. Only one red egg per customer. You get scratch all the time in World 1? I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to be the case in the GBA version. Like, I swear I've gotten multiple different minigames in the first world when I've played this in the past. Maybe I could be wrong about that. But regardless, I'm still I'm still annoyed. <laughs> I don't like the scratching game is the most boring of them all. Excellent. 
Shy Guy on Stilts is another cave level. Also, <laughs> I like how on the GBA version, because on the Game Boy Advance they assume, hey, there's no built-in backlight, so it's gonna be naturally dark anyway, so they really didn't make the dark rooms all that dark. <laughs> and if you're playing on something like the GameCube that has natural backlight, well, it's a lot easier to see. <laughs> Weird momentum there. Yikes! That was weird that one of. the one farther away turned into a star, but not the other one. That was strange. This is probably one of those situations that spitting an enemy into the flower would be a lot easier than shooting it with an egg. I realize that now. <laughs> it still worked out. That actually would have been a lot easier to just spit the enemy in. I see your point, Flopsy. <laughs> when you find the exclamation point switch, step on it, you might find a secret entrance nearby. I already found that in a little free. Sometimes I like making my life more difficult. Secret entrance. Oh boy, it's time for Morph into the Mole Tank here! Everyone's favorite transformation! Although the Mole Tank actually Loki might be my favorite transformation, which is still not saying a whole lot. Because <laughs> dumb stuff like that can happen. Like, excuse me, I would like to just go down, please. Only one mole tank per customer. I hope I got all the red coins in there, otherwise we in trouble. Pound the ground. I know how to ground pound. I guess in case you really forgot. Alright, thanks for the reminder. Blink! Brain hop! Yeah, I, I was looking hard to see if there was any difference between the tint on the red coins versus the normal coins. I couldn't find any. Maybe I'm just not looking hard enough, but it didn't look like there was any tint. I don't like those bats. Yeah, I don't like those bats. I feel like they're just waiting to fly right into me. Thank you, Mr. Fowler. Yeah, like, like that! Like, I'm sorry, sir, but that is just flat out not fair. <laughs> like, the camera wasn't moving fast enough for me to be able to see that. Alright, well, I really hope this has some stars! Thank you. Did I get all the flowers? I missed a flower somewhere. Oh, wait, and now I have to finish the level, don't I? I should have just let my baby Mario die from that at the end. Well, no 100% for me. But I still get a bonus challenge. That was weird. I'm, I normally never miss the... Well, I say that, but I missed the flower on Birth of Bashful's Ford as well and had to go back for it. I feel like the flowers are the easiest ones to get normally. Okay, maybe, you know, maybe it is the same minigame over and over again. I feel like it's dependent on the save file, though, which ones you actually get. 
on stupid toadies. Stupid toadies! <laughs> they're everywhere! I don't think there actually are free baby Marios in there. I kinda wanna go back and do that one again, but I'll wait till after 1-7. One 1-7, seven. One seven. touch fuzzy, get dizzy. One of the most famous levels of the game. Yeah, I love this music. That is an example of uh, where spitting the enemy out is much easier. Oh, hey, hey, tap tap the green noses. And tap tap the red noses. Oh, yes, watermelon. Low key, one of my favorite power ups in the game. <laughs> It's so fun to use. Yes, please give me that key. Yeah, this level is a huge pain in the butt to 100% because there's a really well hidden area. <laughs> Gather coins! Grab more coins than your enemy before the timer reaches zero. If Yoshi wins, you will get a helpful item. Smell you later, bandit. Yo, she wins! Ooh, max eggs. It's like the worst power up. <laughs> Still nice to have, though. I could do it again, but I won't. Coin. I kind of need it. Is that a bottom? I think that's a bottomless pit down there. That's an easy to collect flower. That's that was literally just like how could you miss that flower? <laughs> All right, yeah. This is the part of all the titular fuzzies that basically make Yoshi have an acid trip when he touches one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is um, a very interesting thing to put into a, uh, a kid's game. <laughs> Also, don't eat the fuzzies, because they will also give, make you take a drug trip. It also forces you to move forward. I love how it distorts the music as well. That's just going the extra mile. Oh boy, these are the marching milds, and I do not like those enemies. They make you bounce like crazy when you jump on their head. <laughs> I know, Yoshi's eyes also go crazy when he eats the fuzzies. <laughs> you can break those bridges. Okay, yeah, this part right here, you stand on this log, hold up, and there's a secret faint up there. I don't know how they would expect you to find this. But once you know it's there, it's, it's easy.
Yeah, there is literally no tint difference between the red coins and the regular coins. Yeah, this this was a secret area I had to look up, because it was driving me crazy that I could not find where the last red coins were on this level. Because it's a World 1 level. It's not supposed to be super difficult. Oh. Cool, there we go. Alright, give me another scratch card. <laughs> If you run into the gate at max speed, without, like, ever stopping, and you haven't had the thing on screen for, a, like, any portion of time, you'll always get the bonus game. So just make sure the roulette is not on screen, and then run at it full speed, and you should... You should get the bonus game every time. Yes, yeah, see? See? Flip cards! It, I knew it, I wasn't crazy. I knew you could get different ones. Get items! Aim with the cursor and press A. Collect the items on the cards if you hit, but if you get Kamek, you lose all the items. Yes. This is the one I'm used to. This is the one I like. Alright, Toady. Question mark. That lets you see where all the red coins are. That's nice. Hmm. Free left. I'm gonna keep going. Darn it. <sighs> Alright, well, I'm going back to Shy Guy on stilts then and getting 100% before we clear this world. Shy Guy's on stilts! Alright, yeah, I've been through here before. Hopefully we can get through this relatively quickly. Oh, wow. That's nice. Oh, you can literally just change the order. Oh, I literally didn't know you could just change the order by shooting an egg and then deciding not to shoot it. <laughs> that would have made it actually a little more easier. If in doubt, always exit. My The reason I didn't exit there in the bonus game was because the free items that I got just really weren't that good. The, the question mark ones are pretty bad. The see all red coins is kind of useful. I was kind of hoping to wait until I got, like, a, hey, this will give you more star points if you use it. That, those are my favorite ones. Or like a fire a watermelon or something. Yeah, if I had cut my losses, I would have gotten myself a shiny new magnifying glass. bunch of stuff down there. Oh wait, the two caves are combined together into one. Okay. I'm like, how do I get down there? I don't. That's the other part of the cave that the rest of the level leads to. I'm burning. Yeah, star plus 10 and star plus 20 are the best ones. I do also like the fire and ice watermelons, especially the fire watermelon. Because that can just deal with some of the more problematic enemies so easily. Speaking of problematic enemies... Yeah, that's so weird. Like, the, the guys behind this shy guy turned into stars, but not that guy. Alright, let's see if I can aim this properly. No. Even though it is easier to spit an enemy into that, I still found it easier to spit the egg into it. Oh, maybe I need to smash the peg all the way down? No. I'm still on the lookout for that last flower, because I don't know where it might be. Oh, maybe I need maybe I need to escape from the mole drill tunnel. Because I, I actually didn't... Yikes! Alright, well now I gotta get my star meter back up again. Oh, 
Yeah, I'm guessing... I'm guessing I have to actually physically exit the door in the mole drill area. I also need to remember where the red coins were. I guess this is one situation where seeing which ones are red is actually quite useful. Yeah, like, I'm not... That's right, I keep... So now we can just hop through the hedge and collect these as just Yoshi. There's nothing else there. No, they didn't take me anywhere. I am disappointed. Was it literally just there? I bet that's where the flower was. I do still still need to um, get my star meter back up, though. I think there are star points at the end, but yeah, never mind. Yeah, I literally bet that was the flower I missed, just because I didn't hop on that thing's head. Let's let Mr. Stilt Guy just turn around. The mole I know, the mole controls make no sense. It does what it wants. I freaking hate the bats. Oh, come on. Are you are you serious? Oh, okay. It doesn't disappear. Yoshi made the most pathetic jump I've ever seen. Ooh. No, I want that. All right. I need to remember there is a there is a bat at the top of the cave that will hit you if you are caught on the wires. Yep. What? 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 They flew straight down! What the butts? Alright, well... Hmm. We're gonna have to use the red egg strategy. And we can do it fairly effectively, I believe. Oh no, we can't actually do that in here. I am not replaying this level again. <laughs> there we go. Let's get another egg just for safety. There we go. <laughs> oh, I think that actually has star points in there. Oh well. Don't care. That was everything. <laughs> What am I planning on doing when I finish World 1? Am I going to go to the extra... <laughs> no, 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 no. I am not playing the extra stage right away. <laughs> I've played that extra stage before. That is a nightmare. That, that'll be the post-game content. Oh, oh, we already opened bonus 1. Flip cards, get items. Oh, sweet, yes, thank you. I like this game. Hammock. 100! Alright. Oh yes! Bonus one! Now I can play that game anytime I want! Which I will not be doing. <laughs> but... <laughs> 
If I had star plus one, one, 10 or star plus 20, would I avoid using them and get the giant egg still? No. In that situation, I would have used the power-up. I'm using the red eggs as a last resort, because it is annoying to deal with. Love the pseudo 3 d effects here. Ooh, it was near, that was a very near death experience. No, no, no! Hey, Yoshi, don't scare me like that. Oh, I literally could have just gone up here. Oh well, I wait. I wasted an egg. Oh no, what will I do? I'm trying to become less of. The I'm trying to become less of the person who just hoards items and never uses them, because what if I need them later? I am absolutely guilty of doing that, but I'm trying to get better at that. <laughs> I know, what I'm doing with the red eggs is a bit game-breaking. I'm literally just doing that so I can avoid having to replay too much of a level. I, d I don't really like doing it any more than you do, but... <laughs> Sometimes a guy's got to do what a guy's got to do. Oh, look! A question mark that I can't... Oh! This is actually one situation where I will give myself full eggs. Oh, that's just stars? Oh, I thought it was a, fl a flower. That's okay. Oh, boy. What do you know? Full eggs actually came in handy. I love how that's literally the only item I have. Oh, wait. There's a pipe down there. Get out of here, cheap cheap. Oh, that's just a decoration pipe. Lame. I know, flowers in the question mark. Balloons are a little on the rare side. But it was, it was at a dead end. I figured that... You can tell I don't know these levels as well as I probably should. Hit the block with the right, uh, to the right with an egg and the, some platforms will flip. You can also just jump on it. There we go! Max stars. Ah! Precise hover will let you get up here. Bandits. Oh, <sighs> uh, what? Oh, <laughs> that's why that platform is not flipping. There's a separate red switch. What a goof I am. I'm like, that's weird, the red platform's not flipping. Sorry, I just I just love flower pots. I actually hate them. <laughs> Gotta get that key. All the flowers already, nice. Oh, and, and the <laughs> the heavens align just right. That's everything. Just gotta go to the uh <laughs> Oh yeah, these are such weird platforms where it'll go whatever direction it's facing. Oh, we, no, we have more eggs than that. <laughs> I was trying to actually hit that, but I think it just had stars in it. Oh, yeah, it's the creepy music. Big boss time. Hopefully this guy will give me way less trouble than Bert the Bashful did. Hi there, cute little Yoshi! Does Baby Mario want to go to Bowser's castle? I'll take him there in a hurry! <laughs> Yeah, you can eat those, uh, ball platforms. 
Alright, time for Salvo the Slime. He's a fun fight. No! Well, that's unfortunate. I'm not bothering with the red egg strategy here. Oh wait, Salvo himself actually can't dance? Oh wow, I just got... I just played really badly and got hit by one of his little slimes. I forgot he himself actually can't hurt you. He just pushes you. Well... I think this is going to be a running theme in this uh, playthrough. I'm going to die to every boss, probably. Wahoo! GBA version does not mess up the music. How did I manage to take damage against the boss? Because I'm bad. That's how. It's because I got hit. I happened to get hit by one of his little slimes and not by him. That's how. Salvo the slime. Okay. Round two against Salvo. I think I'm going to die to every boss at least once since I'm trying to 100% it. Nice dodging, Salvo. Uh-oh. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, I'm like, I'm out of eggs. Am I just screwed? No, they drop slimes from the ceiling. That's good. I have never struggled against Salvo the Slime this much. Ever. I've always been able to take him out of like free egg hits just because of all the ricocheting, but there we go. He dead. Yeah, he is way easier than Bert the Bashful. I feel like half the bosses in the game are really easy, and half of them are really annoying. Unless they're trying to 100% it, in which case almost all of them are really annoying. Probably the epitome of a boss that's laughably easy and casual play, but like a nightmare at 100% is mer uh, Marching Milled. Extra one opened, oh boy. That level was red to let you know to not play it. Red means stop, as in stop what you're doing and don't play that level. <laughs> Yoshi now owns this part of Yoshi's Island. Thank goodness the Yoshis are just carrying giant flags with their initial on it. Alright, we could go back and do extra one, but <laughs> we're not doing that. We're going to World 2. 2-1. Visit Koopa and Paracoopa. I thought it was Koopa and Paratroopa. That's fine. Hey, Koopa. There we go. A little bit of tricky navigating, but not too bad. Oh. Oh, hi. It's everyone's favorite lovable side character, Poochie. I say that sarcastically. Poochie is absolutely awful. This dog's name is Poochie. He's pretty cute, huh? Hitch a ride. He runs in the direction Yoshi, fa Yoshi faces. No, he can be useful, but boy, howdy, is he annoying. If you play extra one, um, you know what I'm talking about. I'm also not waiting around for him. Poochie, you fulfilled your purpose. Now bye. <laughs> oh, I love the Koopa boss, Hookbill. Hookbill the Koopa might be my favorite boss from the game. 
All right, it's the room with the falling ceiling. Hopefully we don't get crushed, and hopefully we can grab all the red coins. That's the part I almost always get crushed at. I should say, almost, always, almost get crushed. Duck on it. If those two are red coins. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna assume that they weren't. Okay. <laughs> I hate how those red coins can disappear forever. It's awful. I probably should have taken it slower, but that's okay. It worked out in the end. Oh, I hope those two coins that I missed were not red coins. On it. <laughs> it ain't my jump. Oh well. All right. Well, you know what? We actually get a chance to see if those were red coins or not. I don't think they were, but that would be the most evil place to put the red coins. So that's probably where the game would put them. Do -do 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 So they weren't red coins. No, no, no! I'm sorry, Yoshi. <laughs> I was I was distracted by the flower. Oh well. Hup, boin. Alright, so none of these are red coins, but they do add up to my lives counter, so I'll try to collect them anyways. Don't immediately jump for the flower. That is a trap. <laughs> a horrible, horrible trap. <laughs> Go. I'll get two at a time. That's much safer. There we go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Guy, that stupid shy guy! Ugh! <laughs> Dog on it. Knock knock the red nose? You mean tap tap the red nose? Or did they change the name of him? In the GBA version, that guy is called tap tap the red nose. Is he knock knock the red nose in 
the SNES version, or maybe like the PAL version. They are synonyms, so it's close enough. Whee! For such a colorful, happy place, Yoshi's Island seems like it's a very dangerous place to live. With all, with all these hazards around. Hey, Baby Mario, can you come back down? Thank you. I'm not super worried about the stars, because I, I... There might be another che Actually, there might not be another checkpoint on the level. I don't remember. There actually very well might not be. That's okay. We can... We can worst case scenario, we can abuse the red eggs. Get oh, come on. At least they haven't disappeared. Get ah, stupid shy guy! <laughs> Remember when I said that my favorite part of the GBA version of this game was the controls were good? I mean, I still think they're a lot better than the SNES version, but... I'm still riding the magic struggle bus, nonetheless. What?! You've gotta be kidding me! They make that explosions that big?! Oh, man. Yeah, this game is- this is the epitome of surprise difficulty, basically. Let me tell you what. <laughs> Let's go! Fun, colorful Yoshi game with hand-drawn graphics and, like, everything looks so cutesy. How about we murder you with the difficulty? <laughs> and we haven't even gotten to the extra levels yet. The extra levels are basically sadistically difficult. In particular, the, the one from World 2, I'm just like, how is this A, fun, B, fair? <laughs> I actually was able to 100% the first extra level. Extra level 2, I couldn't even beat, though. I'm... This way seemed to be easier. Yeah, right side first, then left side. That seems to line up a bit better. Ouch. Giant Flower Man is kind of annoying. Oh, that's not good. I'm coming, baby Mario. Oh, what? That's weird. He flew through the rocks. You're safe. I'm gonna just... Preemptively make some red eggs just in case. Because <laughs> I'm I'm pretty sure now that I think about it, there is not another checkpoint. So I actually think I will need to use it. Just drop it already. Yeah, something tells me that that's actually... there are no more checkpoints. Oh, no. I heard that sound effect. I think that was the sound effect of a shy guy with a red coin in his hands flying away permanently. I really don't want to have to play this level again.
pretty sure I already lost out on the last red coin. I'm like 90% sure that the guy who flew off had a red coin. No, he didn't! But I missed a flower. I missed a flower some? What? How did I miss a flower somewhere? I am very confused right now. I could re- yeah. I probably should just revisit the levels later to get on. Yeah. You are- you are correct, Flopsy. I'll give this one one more try, and if I reach the end and I haven't gotten 100%, I'm just finishing. Because this is not an entertaining to play or to watch. Blah, blah, blah. Where did I miss a flower, though? It may have been in, like, the first part of the level, honestly. Come on, eat the coin. Eat the money. Eat the money. Come on. You have no problem eating other aspects that are not part of the food pyramid. I definitely heard the sound effect of a shy guy flying off with something, though. Oh, dog on it. <sighs> I'm still wondering where that last flower is, though. Wow, that fly guy is very annoying to hit. There we go. Almost popped the crate at a bad part. I also realized I don't need to use the red eggs on this course because I can always grind up the minigame hut at the end until I get like a plus 20. Oh, that's okay. It was the one up guy. One up man is who I miss. Uh oh. Nope, no, 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 no. I wonder if there was a flower there that got collapsed on. Where is that last flower? Oh well, I'm not getting the flower. I will play the minigame hut, though. Popping balloons! Pound, pound the ground to pop balloons, find the correct one to win. Oh, oh boy, luck-based! Oh, and not only that, luck-based using the ground pound, which is... not... which is kind of glitchy on my controller. I... Excuse me! Excuse me! I... Wow, I got completely robbed. I, I ground pounded that. Why is the ground pound not working on my controller half the time? I do not like this, Sam I am. Oh, I, I won. Oh, it's a plus 20. That's great. That's the best power up. There's no flower hiding behind you. Nope. All right. Well, I'm, I'm not playing for this level again. I'm not playing for that level again, not this stream. I, I'll go back to that later. If I don't get extra level 2, oh no, what a problem. It's, it's the most annoying level in the game. 
Speaking of which, this is a level that gave me a ton of trouble casual playthrough on my first playthrough. Oh, uh, it's all two, the baseball boys. There's quite a bit of instant death on this level. Hit the up arrow with an egg, and it'll fly off in the direction that it currently points to. Hey, baseball boy, why have you guys not been put into Mario uh, Sluggers? The fact that the baseball boys are not in the Mario baseball games is kind of a travesty. They'd be perfect for it. They already have all the equipment. Oh, yeah. Weird knockoff piranha plants that shoot stuff at you. Like, why do the marching mills make such a giant, like, earthquake when you need to beat them? Nope, no, no! Oh, duck on it. He's gonna hit me. He's not going to hit me. Oh, how lovely. I'm like, they're telling me to go the opposite direction. I'm going, <laughs> there's probably something hidden back here. Please stop trying to shoot stuff at me. I've been a good boy this year. I'm literally trying to help out an orphan baby. Like, come on, it doesn't that <laughs> doesn't that account for anything? Apparently not. Uh oh. I'm always worried that these shy guys are going to fly off with them. Some shy guys in the game will carry blue uh, red coins and then fly off quickly. And if they fly off, then they are gone forever. Touch the superstar and become Superstar Mario! Talk about super! Dash with B! Float in the air! Run up a wall! You're invincible! Wait, you can dash? I didn't realize that. Well... Hmm... I literally never knew that you could dash. I thought you just ran. <laughs> Superstar Mario is a great power-up. Oh, the dash barely makes you go faster. Actually, I guess it makes you go a decent bit faster. Yeah, those spikes are instant death. <laughs> it's a, I, I kept trying to find a way across those spikes without realizing that there was a power-up that made you invincible. Oh, oh yes. supposed to get this flower a different way, but I don't care. I think you're supposed to trick the baseball boy into actually hitting it for you. Play ball! What? I was hovering! That's bogus! I was hovering! That's okay. We have a really easy checkpoint. Yeah, I don't know what those, like, piranha plants that shoot cacti balls at you are even supposed to be. They just look bad. Baseball boys, you're cool enemies, but doggone it, you are so annoying to deal with. Oh, I see. Oh, I, I, I get it. I get you. Oh, shoot. I pushed him too far. Literally, not figuratively. Oh, sweet! Thank you! 
<laughs> Thank you, sir! Oh, yes! Ice watermelon! That's totally a thing that, uh, exists in the real world. Ah, uh, yes. Guess where the red coins are in the holes. My favorite game. Waste of our preferred star points. Whee! Oh, you thank goodness. I need more eggs. Yoshi's, Yoshi is just enjoying a delicious slice of ice cold watermelon. I mean that quite literally. <laughs> Still missing some red coins and some flowers. This level is pretty long, though. Oh, I hate this part. That's are trying to steal my eggs! You think you can get away with stealing my eggs? You can actually eat the projectiles those guys shoot at you. Which is genuinely useful to know. There's also times like this where I really wish you could eat and you could use your ton to lick things below you. But you can't. That's still not all the flowers in the game, or in, on the level. Huh. Because you get a one-up when you get all of them. Because there's still more. Hey, Nintendo Addict, welcome! <sighs> oh no, my icy watermelon! Oh no, I have no eggs! This actually really stinks. Hi, baseball boy. I can hear that mouse somewhere. There you go. Wait, no, no, no. Get back here. Get back here. All right, we gotta go. Oh. Now we go back to the beginning because we gotta <laughs> gotta take the mole train. Everyone's favorite. Oh boy, best controls. You can ground pound near the cactus shooters to stun them? I did not know that. Even if they're on the ceiling? <sighs> Why does... I don't understand the controls of this thing. I don't think I ever will. I'm not even sure if the developers understand the controls for this thing. Hey, Red Nose. Where's the last flower? Throw an egg in there, any- I know that! There have been tulips on multiple previous levels. Oh, I thought this was a bottomless pit. Oh, boy.
No, 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 no. Oh! <laughs> oh, that was so close. <laughs> oh my lanta, that was close. <laughs> All right, ice watermelon, you've served your purpose. All right, that was the last red coin. That has to be the luckiest save ever. Yeah, pretty much. Talk on it, you stupid... Nice bandits. That's okay, I have a plus ten star points at the end. I'll take a one-up. I need those. Alright. I seriously think I have better aim with the eggs than I do with spitting the enemies. And I am correct. Still need to find that last flower, though. I can't remember if this way leads to the exit or to the final flower. That leads to the exit. Alright. Final flower is down lower then. Yeah, that's right. Oh no. I do not like this predicament. I... I think they want you to jump on the mouse on the floor. I'm not doing that. That is guaranteed death. There we go. That's what I was waiting for. Alright, not too fast, because I don't want any mice getting the drop on me. Alright. <laughs> oh, what? No flower. But I ran into it. Alright, that's fine. Whatever. Whew! That level was hectic. A lot more hectic than I was expecting. Oh boy. Level three. Another cave level. What's Gusty taste like? Well, have fun in this first room where you're surrounded by these Gusties. Wow, their hitboxes are not great. Happy! These guys can hit you. And I'm surprised that they haven't yet. Great job, camera. There we go. I was waiting for that to happen. But the Gusties are just so dang happy, it's hard to get mad at them.
All right. Down the pipe we go. World free is probably my favorite as well. It has the highest ratio of good levels. <laughs> these types of walls may be destroyed. Yeah, we've seen these walls kind of a lot in the game already. Oh boy. Bats, just as annoying in this as they are in the Zelda series. I especially hate it because the bats tend to spawn off camera in such a way that, like, you can't see them until they actually hit you. Oh boy! I'll remember that shack for later. I'm waiting for the watermelon spitting contest. That one is the best. Oh, speaking of watermelon spitting contest... Grab a green watermelon and press B to fire out seeds. Yep! How did you know that I was going to say World Free is my favorite? World Free is such a good world. Okay. Gotta take the Mole Train! Man, Mole Train is a much more common power-up than I remember it being. Wow! Oh, I also forgot another terrible power-up is the Submarine. How could I forget? Oh, wow, I remembered that I was eating watermelon. That's nice. Oh, doggone it. I missed the key. That's fine. Actually, I missed a lot of stuff back here. I thought this was a different way to go, but no, this is the way you're supposed to go. Switch? Yes, please. Yeah, I missed out on the key. The key's not going to take me anywhere that needs 100... Uh, that leads to 100%. It's just... Leads me to a mini game that I can get stuff in. I, okay, this is Nepiunt. Oh, yeah, I missed out on a ton. Nepiunt has very impressive eyebrows. He's just here to say goodbye, everybody. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is a lot of lantern ghosts. That is a lot of lantern ghosts! What on earth? Oh, oh whoa. That just destroyed everything. <laughs> That just destroyed, like, everything. Oh, that wasn't even a red coin? Wow, none of those were red coins. I'm... Well, color me supply. Color me surprised. Oh, 
Oh, hey! Guess what respawned for our convenience? <laughs> we are getting that key after all. Yeah, if I had missed that room, it would not have reflected well on my <laughs> SAT scores. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I hit it with my butt. We're good. Who needs eggs? I have a key. I kind of hope there's another checkpoint. It's okay, I got a plus 20. <laughs> I hope you don't mind, I'm e already eating a watermelon when I'm going into this minigame. Oh, it's the throwing balloons game again. Lame! I don't like this one. Especially if my control stick is a little on the fritz. Well, we're gonna still do it. Lives or full? Wait. I'm confused. What did that do? It said full, and then it had Yoshi's fa uh, smiling face on it. Oh look, we get to play as the Mole Train yet again. Oh, that was just a single one up. I'll st I'll take it. I would have preferred another plus 20 or a plus 10, but... Beggars can't be choosers. <sighs> Yoshi's Island, I love you, but doggone it, your transformation controls are really bad. All the red coin. I'm missing one red coin somewhere. Did they expect you to get to the end just as Super. How would you get to the end as just Superstar Mario? Boggles my mind. Alright, well, if it's just one coin we're missing, I'm gonna go out and try to find it. I hope I didn't miss it in the beginning of the stage. That would really suck. That's right, this is the area where you're Superstar Mario. Well, I can't go back any further. Well, farts. That's not good. Well, I guess I'll just accept that I'm... Oh, wait. Huh? How do we get over... Th How the heck do we get over there? Obviously, we have to come from below, but... What? That was strange. Oh, well. Can't be helped. We're finishing the level without 100%. That's okay, we'll have to visit. Again, I'm, this is not technically a 100% playthrough. This is literally just me trying to beat it, but I'm going to collect 100% if I can. 93! What up? There have been a shocking lack of bonus games in this world. Alright, we're finally on the World 2 Fortress. 2 4, Bigger Boo's Fort. We didn't even play Big Boo's Fort. And we're already on Bigger Boo. Thank <laughs> you. 
you got the 20 up in Super Mario Bros. 3 from that? Wow. That's insane. I'd heard rumors and legends about that, but I always thought that they were just false. That's how you're gonna play it, eh? I like the fortress stages. They're a lot of fun. Yeah, I forgot about these crazy ghosts here. They're very odd. Oh, hi ghost guys. I forgot about you guys. What is in this door, anyways? I actually don't remember. Oh, that's right. Do, 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 do. You can kill the booze. You just gotta ricochet an egg. room. They follow the classic boo formula if they only move at you when you're facing away from them. So we can use this to our patent advantage. Although we still missed two coins in this room. Gotta just check to make sure. <laughs> sure enough, one of those was red. Both of them were red, actually. Good thing we checked that. <laughs> I don't like these guys. I think they're completely invincible. And they have very big hitboxes. Actually, you might be able to kill them with eggs, but you definitely can't eat them. Oh yeah, I love these style of rooms, too. Again, it's taking that, like, pseudo-3D aspect to the next level. Last of the red coins. Excellent. Do we have all the flowers? No, we're missing one flower somewhere. Well, I, part of me was like, I don't really want to grab that, actually, but I had no choice. Well, crap.
This always... <laughs> I didn't want to grab that, either. And... Well, that sucks. Guess we're gonna have to go back to a lot of World 2 levels. Yeah, because... Mm. That's annoying. Oh, well. There's a cracked ceiling in the room I just left. Yeah, probably. But it didn't give me any option to go back. Oh, yes, we have Baby Mario's brother at Bowser's Castle, but we're not handing him over to the likes of you. I love how Bigger Boo's face gets smaller than regular Big Boo's face. Easy boss. Bigger Boo is one of the easier fights in the game. The bats can be annoying in that fight. Well, that's annoying. We always miss one thing. That's okay. Free up. Oh boy, enter Lakitu. Level 5. Watch out for Lakitu. I feel like the purple Yoshi levels always have this music. No! Oh, thank you. <laughs> I should have waited until it recharged back to 10, but oh well. I like it too. Please give me your cloud. Thank you. Like it too actually is kind of helpful. We can borrow his cloud and reach new heights. Bad at... Okay, well, that's annoying when that happens. Stop! No! Jackbutt. He's very easy to deal with, but, um, when he swoops in on top of you out of nowhere, and especially if you have something in your mouth, it can be a little frustrating. Wait. Did I just see that right? If you ground pound, a flower spits out like five eggs. What? I didn't know that. Ground pound does so much more than you would think. We stole Lakitu's cloud. Just grab it, then. Grab the baby! Oh no. Is this tr <laughs> Is it time for Thomas the Train Yoshi? Stool boost off of the shy guys. Okay. <laughs> I would like an egg, please. Thank you. Wow, there are a lot of those little star points on this course. That's great. Just what Artie needed. We are 
not breaking this crate over open ground. We're going to ground pound here so we don't kill ourselves. Thank you. Oh, he gets so sad. <laughs> you eat his cactus, he gets so sad. I forgot about that. Oh, yes. It's time for Thomas to tra the train Yoshi. The train can travel on the tracks drawn on the walls. Accelerate to dodge enemies by using B. Again, I'm not sure if I ever knew that you could accelerate it. That's actually going to be very useful, though. Nope. What the heck? I... He will not go on that other track. Close. Oh. Uh oh, this is not good. Oh, there's another train balloon over here. Okay, well, being able to accelerate definitely makes this a lot easier. Yoshi as a train likes going backwards. Oh my gosh, yes. Being able to accelerate makes this a lot easier. The chalk drawings, yep. Still one of the better transformations of the game, though. Very okay. That's one of the ones that will fly off with the red coin if you don't stop him fast. Stop it! Baby Mario! No! Baby Mario, you will have to wait. It's good to have that plus twenty. I yeah, I hate it when Lakitu literally just spawns in out of nowhere and you can't avoid him. Grab him! I hate this stupid Lakitu who keeps knocking me out. Not today, you bum. Alright. I want to eat- I want to destroy him and not his cloud. 
not making it easy for me. He's not going down. I freaking hate this Lagatu. He's the absolute worst. Die. Not what I was hoping for, but I'll take it. I, I'm pretty sure I missed the red coins a long time ago, but maybe they're high up. Maybe they're hidden in here. I do not remember Lakitu's being this annoying in Yoshi's Island. Okay, now, nah, uh, those red coins are long gone. Are you serious?! You all saw that. There was a wall stopping me from going forwards, just so it would dump me off in the cliff. Oh, great. No! Spring break! Maybe the other red coins were from shy guys that all flew off. No, give me that red coin right now. Okay, how many red coins do I have now? Same as before. Oh, but I found some extra- okay. So some of them were lost from Shy Guys, so I actually might still be able to grab them all. I know for a fact I got all of the Shy Guys, so... I'm not playing around anymore. Lack of poo. There is one red coin left. I'm gonna look for it in this room. Okay, well that just screams suspicious. One up. Oh! What?! Where is this going? What? 
Very strange. Maybe I needed to plant the flower first, and then hit the switch? Assuming the switch is even still here. It's not. Well, that figures. Oh, thank you. about all this. I'm gonna be very ticked off if there's still one red coin that I just can't get because it's in a previous room. Like in the train room or something. Get out of my face, you garbage person. I'm missing a flower, too, somewhere. Oh, that's because it's right here. I've come so far. I do not want to... Okay, maybe it's... I don't think it was under any of these, but I'll ch I'll check just in case. There it is. We are using that twenty. Boom! Shaka laka. Good gravy, I never have to do that level again, thank goodness. I hate those shy guys that just fly away with the red coins, never to be seen again. They're the worst. Not actually. Drawing lots! Get an item! Here's another chance to gain an item! Flip a single card and receive the item shot. Oh, this one also sucks. Because it's always Kamek. Like, I swear all six of them are Kamek. And by that I mean, I swear, no matter which one you pick, it will always be Kamek, and it'll just be, oh, the other ones will... <laughs> like, literally every time I pick that, it is always Kamek. Level 6, the Cave of the Mystery Maze. Oh, yes. Mystery Maze. The first, like, true puzzle level. <laughs> Excellent! That's always fun! Bling! This level's fun. It's fun solving the maze. Drawing lots. Okay, I I literally think every time I've played Drawing Lots, I have gotten Kamek. Like literally every time. No matter which one I end up picking. Maybe I'm just the most colossally unlucky person in Yoshi's Island, but. I think... I think that's everything in the first room. I sure hope so. 
Yes, there's no turning back now. There's something up there. But I can't reach it. Now I really hope I got everything in that first room. <laughs> Looks like this is going to be a big step down in difficulty from the last one. I just had to open my mouth and say it, didn't I? Oh, I got a key? When did I get a key? No, 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 no. It's okay, buddy. It's okay, Cannon Joe. Or whatever his name is. Cannon Cody. There's Bullet Bill and Torpedo Ted, so Cannon Cody is probably his name. I ain't going through that. Cannon Cody, you just... just chill. How are you supposed to get through these guys? That's how. When in doubt, egg. I may as well open up the bonus shack! I did just make up that name, yes. Yes! Best one! Watermelon seed spinning contest! Grab a watermelon and spit seeds at your enemy as fast as you can and reduce their HP to zero. Um, why did he not take damage? I was literally shooting him right in his face, and he was not taking damage. I'm doing that again. That was legit bugged. I he, there was no reason why he shouldn't have been, been taking damage. I'm gonna assume the Yoshi mask just like completely protects his front from everything, no matter what, for no reason. I literally think you, you you can't hit him head on. Like you have to hit him from uh, below. Ooh, ice watermelon, nice. Well, we beat him in the end, anyways. I hope there are more star points, cause I have been sucking. Boing, boing, boing. Alright, Cannon Cody's, I don't care about you! Later! Oh, thank goodness. Brings me back up to Ferdy, excellent. Oh, he, he was hiding behind the terrain, but still spitting at me? That ain't right. <laughs>
That was an interesting room. There was, like, nothing in there. stuff did I miss? I'm missing one flower and four coins. Well, those are probably back at the beginning then, so... Yeah, that's fine. Sayonara! I'm pretty sure the first... Oh, as a matter of fact, no, I don't want to be famous. In fact, I don't want to be famous so much that you are actually going to get banned. I love that I can do that right from my phone. All right, well, we didn't get a very good score on that level, but that's okay. That's a short, easy one that I can go back to. Five up! Drawing one! Not this again. Watch, it's going to be Kamek again. Every time! Like, literally every time. Does not matter where I go. <laughs> oh boy. Lakitu's Revenge. Level 7, Lakitu's Wall. Red Yoshi is a cool color. Oh yeah, you get the, the gourmet guys who give you the massive eggs. Try. Give me that key. Give me that key. <laughs> oh my gosh, does the egg quaking, does that turn people into stars? That's crazy. There's so much about quaking that happens in this game that I always forget about. <sighs> Bonus shack! <laughs> Gather coins! Grab more coins than your enemy before the timer reaches zero! <laughs> I do moderate my own streams. At least I try to. And it's making me work for this one. Wait, what? That coin changed trajectory mid-flight. Ah, oh, well. Yo, she lose. That's okay. Because now I think I can sequence break a little bit. Okay, so what you, what you do, folks? this peg down. Now we're gonna go back over here and hit this again. And watch what happens. Because that peg is no longer in the way. Oh, what? I thought it went further than that. I thought I could trick it into going farther. I need to just stop saying, watch this. 
Because it never turns out well for me. Alright, well, I'm, I'm gonna give that this game another go. Gathering coins is not a difficult game. Where that coin faced through me. Yeah, there we go. Oh boy, it's worthless! I don't even know what that one... I think that makes stuff visible. That's normally invisible. Smell you later. I do not want to deal with you, lack of poos. But I guess I have to deal with you nonetheless. Alright, shortcut time. That went weird. He threw that higher than I was expecting. I thought he gave me a sparkling egg. Never mind. I don't know this game very well. It's always it's always risky going in. Yeah, because that happens. You can go in a door and all of a sudden you can't go back. Um, pfft. that happened. Does turn them into stars. Interesting. Yeah, that's not what I intended to do. That's okay. I got my prize anyways. Wee! Drawing lots and slot machine are world two. Oh, slot machine is bad. <laughs> Wait, I, I I glitched the game a little. Oh. No, nothing secret up there. That's a shame. That would have been the prime place to put something secret. That's an interesting red background. It's like it's a different time of day there compared to the rest of the level. Try to figure that out. Oh, wait. No. But there's a cloud platform up there. Don't tell me this pipe's not gonna let me go back. It sure as cuss isn't. Oh, 
Oh, I'm gonna hope that cloud platform, platform doesn't lead anywhere. Cause I'm gonna be in trouble if it is, if it does. Oh wait. Nothing? All of that... There we go. I'm like, there can't be nothing up here. There we go. Yeah, that just screams suspicious. Oh no, are you kidding me? Well, that way led to a flower, so I hope... We picked the right one, maybe. Wait, what? What did that question mark do? Probably need to watch my star energy. Actually, no, I can always just abuse the giant egg. Can I jump? Please? Thank you? Can I just get up here? And not fall back down, please? Thank you, good grief. Oh, that has like a pow block effect. That's what those question marks were doing. I gotta be close to 20 red coins now, like, come on. I gotta be really close to 20 red points. One flower, one red coin. Great. Where could those be hiding? Where's the last red coin? Where's that last flower? Also, come to think of it, where's the exit? This is interesting. I can't seem to find my way to the exit. Oh, there's still part of the level left after this. There, no! No! Do not go for the warp. Man, why are the Wakatu so pickin' annoying in this game? Now we're just going to be cheap and grind up on star points with the giant eggs. Because right, I am not redoing this level again if I can at all help it. 
Oh, actually we might be out of giant eggs. Hmm. Oh wait, there's- oh that's right, there's still the flower up here. Thank you, game, for putting this in. I appreciate it greatly. Beautiful. Now, as long as the Lakitus are not colossal crud butts... There we go. Oh. Pfft. Didn't need to do that. Oh, I didn't hit the information. But oh, that's right. This is... Oh, that's right. This is like the only time in the game it's actually... This transformation is actually used, is it? The hot dog car. It's basically Yoshi is the Wienermobile. Just double checking. Good. Hacha! The question mark cloud item turns all enemies on screen into question mark clouds. Did not know that. Good to know. It reminds you of the Inspector Gadget car. Fair enough. <laughs> oh my gosh, like it's his wall. We got a We have only 100% of, I think, two levels in this world. Three. Alright. Final level of this world. 2 8. The Potted Ghost's Castle. I like the dark blue Yoshi color. I think that's the only time in the game that the car transformation is used, though, isn't it? Or maybe in some of the uh, bonus slash extra levels. We're dead. I'm sorry, Yoshi! Round two, Potted Ghost Castle. Sometimes Yoshi gets stunned for a really long time after getting hit by something, and other times he doesn't. It's... I wish it was just consistent. That way I could at least predict it. Alright, round three of the Potty Ghost Castle. Yeah, the GBA version, when you beat the game, you unlock the, uh, the secret levels, which are not in the SNES version. My brothers have unlocked them. I wouldn't know, though, because I have not. I bet you you can eat the fireballs and spit them back out. That's an easy flower to get. Oh, I hate those spikes. These spikes are arguably even worse than the long yellow ones, because these ones you actually might be able to, or you are able to destroy, and sometimes the game wants you to do that.
Wait, is that... Wait, I'm confused. Which way are we supposed to go? There's a pipe on the left and a pipe over here. Well... Perhaps this is... Okay, then. Hmm. The blue spikes are called thorns. I can get behind that. Aha! <laughs> the evil flowers they have the smarmy faces. Didn't die, but we almost did. Also, I'm pretty sure we went the wrong through the wrong pipe. And by that I mean we went towards the correct pipe. Well, darn it. Perhaps we should kill ourselves to just go for the other pipe. Which I was certain would lead to the wrong direction. When throwing, you may stop I mean the cursor by pressing L. This can increase your accuracy, that's fine. Well, that's not even instant death. Baby Mario, I know you're in danger, but maybe we want to change the color of the outside frame. That's an interesting one. That kind of fits Yoshi, with the flower pattern. Ooh, or maybe the yarn. Actually, nah, I like 19. It looks like the GameCube. Reminds people that I'm playing on the Game Boy Player. Oh, I died. Oh, <laughs> what a shocker. I'm just so darn surprised about that. Oh, there was no arrow pointing up to this. Watch this not have even led anywhere. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> Cue Thomas the Tank Engine music. Thomas the Tank Engine! Do -do 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 -do. Well, that at least led to a flower. Glad I had died. Can I ride the train again? Because there were other coins that I could have collected but didn't. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you! Oh no! Oh well, at least I got everything. I'm going to assume that they don't want me to destroy the entire floor of thorns, because that would be stupid. The game developers knew what they were doing. They wouldn't have wanted us to beat a stupid level, would they? Every level in this is perfectly fair and balanced and fun! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
You... I hate those- those bombs have deceptively big explosions. I know they're bombs and all that, but still, come on now. Come on, man! I should do that sometime? Um, you're gonna have to be more specific. What part of what I was saying were you saying I should do? <laughs> Sorry, there's a little bit of a delay between chat and what, when I say stuff. No, 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 no. That was evil. Oh, get all the thorns, I should do that? No. No, 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 no. That's not happening. <laughs> that takes far too long. I oh, guess. Egg should do it. Should. I love the dungeons in this game. They're very well thought out for the most part. And they're, again, for the most part, pretty fun to play. I think the top way leads... Okay, yeah. Between those two, I'm gonna go for the pipe, which we can hopefully go back through, and out the door, which may close behind us. Touch the thorns! They'll knock you out! You can destroy them while hitting you- okay. This is the part where they want you to hit them with- wait. Did I seriously go the correct way again? for a fact this is not the correct way to go. This is a secret. Pandits are like freaking invincible, man. Even eggs don't hurt them. Get back here. Stop it. Get, get back here. You what? Let me guess, the door I decided not to go into because it was screaming, hey, this is the correct way to go, has the freaking flower in it. And now I can't go back. I bet you that's the case. Get back here! Why are bandits, like, in literally invincible? And can fly, apparently.
You literally have to ground pound on them in order to kill them. I did know that the Dark Blue Yoshi is the least frequently used one. Because on the final level, he gets replaced by Green Yoshi for atmosphere. Is this seriously the correct way to go? That doesn't make any sense. At all. Wow, are you are you for real? Are you serious right now? Are you serious right now? I literally entered the door that screamed, this is a secret door that leads to a secret place, and it took me here, and ignore. <sighs> well, we can't get 100% now! Yoshi dear, that baby is going to mean, mean disaster for the Koopas, so give him here before you get hurt by accident! <laughs> it's the potted ghost. Push him off a cliff. He's pretty easy. You can struggle all you like, but goodbye. <laughs> Push him off a cliff. <laughs> I feel bad for the shy guys who were just trying to not die, but... They were a necessary casualty to this war. Also, that's like the tiniest key ever. It's so short. <laughs> Fernie stars, 20 coins, but no! The flowers behind the one pick and door that you actually... Yes, I'm salty about that. Oh well. We opened bonus 2, so literally I'm gonna have to replay more than half the levels in World 2 just to get 100%. Well, we unlocked the World 2 bonus game. Which, if memory serves, is the scratch and sniff cards. I mean, the... Uh, scratch cards. <laughs> Alright, what I'm gonna do, let's go and do the World 1 bonus, because we can get some good items this way. Stock up for next time. Flip cards, yeah! Bonus 1 is the best one. You can flip cards and get free items. Even if you get Kamek, you can just play it over and over again. This way we're gonna get some plus star points, and hopefully for next time... We won't have to rely on the red egg strategy so much. Oh, yes. I will literally just take that one. <laughs> Kamek can say no all he or she wants. I'm going to get some items. Good items, by the way. Yes. I will happily take plus ten. I guess I could always grind this up off stream. Oh, yes, please. Plus twenty is the best one. All right. I think I'm going to have to stop streaming now. We've been streaming for over three hours now. And I feel like if I get play, start playing World 3, I'm going to get more salty and play worse. And won't be as fun. So, but we made it through, like, a third of the game today, so that was pretty good. I will stream this next weekend. Probably again Saturday at the usual 1pm. If not, uh, I will post an announcement in my Discord uh, server and let people know that maybe it'll get moved to Sunday. It just depends. I like streaming at least on the weekend. Whether it's Saturday or Sunday depends on... Uh, what happens? I do like World Free. 
But I can only stream for so long before I start getting streamed out, and I'm starting to approach that point. And World 2 left me a little salty after it... I'm not going to say robbed me of 100%, after I failed to get 100% on a couple of those levels, so... We'll do World 3 and probably World 4 next stream next week. Uh, tune in for that, and also this coming week, uh, Monday and Wednesday, uh, now that Paper Mario Pro Mode is done, at least stream-wise, I will be introducing a new series, so people can check that out, too. Uh, I don't think there's... <laughs> I know I don't think there's anybody who's really streaming at this time of day. Most people stream at night, so I don't think there's anyone to raid. Uh, hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend. Hope you guys uh, tune in for future stuff. And yeah, just hope you have a chill, relaxing weekend. It's always fun. I think I will take a walk pretty soon. <laughs> Anyhow, look forward to that. And hope you have a great rest of your weekend, and God bless.